Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of PETS. It's a pleasure to see you this morning. Just a few housekeeping uh, items. Remember that this session is being recorded. Um, remain muted during the uh, session so there won't be background noise that will interfere with the presentations. Um, it's best to use speaker view to get the best um, experiences from the presentation. And if you're uncertain how to do that, the directions for going into speaker view will be included in chat. Um, speaking of chat, you can use that to add comments, questions. Um, at the end of the session today, we'll be able to print a report and share those comments those questions, those answers that will be included in that. So you have that as a, as a reference. Also, um, we've included a handbook in the training um, page. A copy of the handbook will be included in chat. Use this as a reference. It's got a wealth of information that um, has been included um, or, or created by the district uh, committee chairs. Um, it has calendars, it has budget information, just a wealth of information, go-to place for um, information related to uh, next Rotary year. Um, and like I said, oh, also the directions to the training page will be included on that too. A copy of this recording of PETS will be included there. Um, also list um, items for a CTT, so um, just a wealth of information. Um, Kathy, we wanted to say something about screen. Yes, thank you, Nina Beth. Um, I got a request from uh, one or... You just muted yourself. Here we go. Uh, yes, I got a request from a couple of AGs if they could share their screens later on today when they're in the breakout rooms with their areas. And I've set it up so that they can do that uh, with Zoom. But I want to warn everybody I, to be able to do that. I had to allow everybody to be able to share their screen. So please be diligent and don't share uh, something that you're not really needing to post and share or share with others. So AGs, you do have that ability when you get into your breakout rooms. So just want right. to let you know that. Thank you, Kathy. Well, at this time, I'd like to recognize DGE Tara. Thank you, Nana Beth. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed yesterday and took away lots of great ideas. Um, one update, uh, for those of you who were asking about RLI, the May 7 session is not full. Um, there was a glitch in the system, and at this point, you should be able to go in and register. I looked at the website this morning, and it's not showing any of the parts as full. So um, if you're interested, I would say don't wait because it is limited to, I think, 22 people per part. So if you want to register for that, get that done sooner rather than later. Um, also... I know I said it in the WhatsApp group yesterday, but um, I know Nana Beth also just mentioned it, but I really, really hope that you all will take some time to fill out the um, information in your handbook. Um, during my training this year, I was provided one of these handbooks that has become this working document that everything that um, I've been planning or, or working on for the upcoming year has come out of there. So it's like an action plan that will keep us on um, the path forward as we go throughout the next Rotary year. So you will hear more about what came out of that handbook in just a minute. Um, I'm going to share a video with you all. Um, the year I served as president was the first year that I remember getting like really excited about the Rotary International theme. It was in 2015, 2016. And the theme was be a gift to the world. And I remember Ravi Ravendram gave this wonderful presentation and I shared the video with my club and everybody was so excited and motivated for the new Rotary year to begin. And then when I served as area governor, I got excited every year and I wanted to share the theme and the message with all five clubs that I supported. And it was hard. I failed. I will tell you, I failed. Um, one year, I think I got to all five of them in what I would call a timely manner. So 
Um, then when I started to prepare for district governor, I thought, well, how am I going to do this for 81 clubs if I couldn't do it for five? And um, had this idea to create a video. And it will be available to all of you. All 81 clubs will get a link to it. You do not need to try to access it from today's recording. It will be on there. But you'll get a much cleaner version. You can use it as a kickoff um, meeting for um, the new year after July 1. And um, really excited about the opportunity to capitalize off of getting the same message to the entire district at the same time and at the beginning of the year. And um, having us all work toward these same goals. So that is the premise behind it. Hopefully it's a communication tool to give us all the same message at the same time so that we can um, start the new year on the same path forward. Um, we're going to watch it today and it is downloaded. So if you have any kind of um, latency or anything, it's probably related to your connection. This is not um, showing through an internet like a YouTube. So Watch it. Hopefully you get a good connection, but um, just know that you're going to get a link to this so that you can share it with your club um, as the year begins. Leslie? Hello and welcome to the 2021-2022 Rotary Year. What an exciting time as we can finally start to see some sense of normalcy just right around the corner. It is time to get fired up. Fired up for the time when we can get back together and continue doing good in the world. During my training at International Assembly, which was 11 days of Zoom training this year, we were introduced to the upcoming Rotary International theme that I am super excited to share with you today. To introduce this year's theme, here is the 2021-2022 Rotary International President from West Bengal, India, Shaker Mehta. Namaste. Hello, the movers and shakers of Rotary around the world. You, the DGEs, are the movers, and I am Shaker. Today, you are taking a very important step in your journey of service and leadership. The forthcoming 17 months will be the most amazing, fruitful months in your life. You can turn this period into the most satisfying period of your life. During this period, I urge you to dream big, guided by our shared vision for Rotary. You will plan and set goals inspire and motivate Rotarians to reach goals. Goals to expand the reach of our organization by increasing membership and goals to increase the impact of Rotary by serving the world. And in this journey, you will play a stellar role as you share your goals with Rotarians and Rotaractors in your district and inspire them to do more and grow more. Friends, this will be our guiding mantra. Do more as in bigger and impactful service projects and grow more as in increasing our membership and expanding the participation. Membership, friends, continues to be our biggest challenge. For the last 17 plus years, our membership has been at 1.2 million. Together, let us change that over the next 17 months. My dear change maker governors, here is your opportunity to make the biggest change in Rotary history as far as membership is concerned. What we have not accomplished in the last 17 years, I challenge you to accomplish in 17 months. But that's too big a dream, you may say. Well, if I ask you to dream big, I have to lead from the front. One of my inspiration comes from what George Bernard Shaw said. He said, you see things and you say, why? But I dream of things that never were and I say, why not? So friends, the dream is to increase our membership to 1.3 million 
by 1st July 2022. How can we reach that incredible goal? The answer is each one bring one. Ask each Rotarian to bring one member to Rotary in the next 17 months. Just one member in 17 months is all you need to ask of every Rotarian in your district. You can ensure this by leading by example and having your club presidents lead by example as well. As Rotarians in every club do this, they too will become change makers as they will change the lives for good of each person that they make a Rotarian. Governors elect, we need to grow more to do more. I have always hugely been inspired by the motto of Rotary, service above self. It has taught me to care for others and share with others. Service to me is about thinking of others even before I think of myself. On thinking about others, let me share one of my Rotary moments. I had just joined my Rotary club and the club organized a limb camp. Here we were distributing calipers, artificial limbs and hand cycles. Every member was given some responsibility and so was I. I was to check if the beneficiary of the hand cycle had enough strength in his hand to ride the tricycle by his hands. And I was to do this by asking the beneficiary to pull my hand so that I could fathom the strength in his hands. As I stood in my designated spot, waiting for the beneficiary to come, I saw him crawling towards me. He had no legs, so he had to crawl towards me. I stretched my hands to hold his, and I'll be honest, in that moment, I was thinking about me and not about him. I was thinking about my cleanliness, my health. I did not want to hold his hand, but I did it and kept thinking of myself for the second and third set of hands. But suddenly, after the sixth, seventh set of hands, my empathy towards their plight grew. And soon enough, I could feel their pain, their challenges. And I was thinking more about them than I was thinking of myself. It was, it was at that moment, friends, when from being just a member of my Rotary Club, I became a Rotarian. Many of you have been an important part of similar service projects and you have changed the lives of people. There was a need to serve and you served. Today the need to serve has become even more necessary and apparent. So my dear change maker governors, in the coming Rotary year, I request you, urge you, cajole you to serve people and help to change their lives. So, my dear governors, our theme for the year 2021-2022 is Serve to Change Lives. I urge you to lead by example and inspire Rotarians and Rotaractors to participate in projects that have a sustained impact. Join hands with other Rotarians, other organizations, corporations, and do projects that impact your community, your city, projects that can change lives of people across the country and around the world. At the end of your term as district governor, you should feel that because of your leadership, because of your inspiration to the Rotarians and Rotaractors, the world has changed for better because of the service done by them during the year. Friends, to do more and grow more, we've designed some presidential initiatives. There will be seven presidential conferences across the world, focusing on the seven areas of focus. And for every Rotary and Rotaract club, to be able to organize and engage Rotarians and Rotaractors and the public at large, we will have Rotary Days of Service. Do participate in the presidential conference closest to home and do encourage every club 
to participate in a rotary day of service let them join rotaractors and interactors let us showcase our work world over through thousands of rotary days of service by rotary clubs dear change maker governors ending polio fighting covid working on large impactful projects and increasing our membership to a never before 1.3 million the task ahead is challenging and that should excite you rotarians love challenges a ship is safe in the harbor but that is not what ships are meant for they need to go out in the high seas life my dear change makers is about adventure and not maintenance let me end with what i have penned for our theme the biggest gift we are given is the power to touch a life to change to make a difference in the circle of life if we can reach out with our hands heart and soul the magic will begin to happen as the wheel begins to roll let's turn the wheel together so all humanity thrives we have the power and the magic to serve to change lives at this moment i urge you wherever you are seated to put your hand on your heart and pledge with me we have the power and the magic to serve to change lives so my dear change makers are you ready are you ready for the big challenges are you ready to serve are you ready to change lives i am and i'm sure you are too together let us serve to change lives wow serve to change lives what an amazing theme and an amazing speaker right Shaker calls my class of BGEs change makers. And while that's such a compliment, everyone knows that you are the change makers. You are both the movers and the shakers of District 7570. It is no secret that we have taken quite a hit in membership over the past year due to the pandemic. So now is the time for us to turn that around. We won't call it a comeback because we have been here and we will stay here. But what we have now is an opportunity, a refreshing idea from Shaker of each one, bring one. Every club has those one or two members who find most of our new members. And with this idea, instead of having one member bring 10, every member only brings one. And bringing a new member to Rotary is so easy if we take a minute to think about it. In a recent survey, there were four primary reasons reported that people join Rotary. One is local service. Two, social and professional connections and networking. Three, professional growth and learning. And four is the ability to make a difference globally. So why did you join Rotary? And why are you still in Rotary? When looking at these four reasons, I know that I joined for networking for my job, but I stayed because Rotary not only satisfied my desire for networking, it provided me an opportunity for local service projects and making a difference in my community. Then, you all upped the game. You sent me to India to lead a group study exchange team where I developed an understanding and a love for another culture and for international service, while at the same time gaining friends from across the world. And throughout my entire Rotary life, I have continuously gained professional development skills by serving in leadership positions, participating in trainings, and learning from the most amazing leaders from all over the world. So just like anything else in your life, find your why and then share it with others. The challenge is on District 7570. Each one bring one. I am so excited to see what you all do with this challenge. Another initiative Shaker discussed is Rotary Days of Service. His challenge is that each club hold a Rotary Day of Service in their community. 
I fully support Shaker's initiative and would like for us to take that one step further. In addition to one community event, each month we will highlight the Rotary monthly theme in some way throughout our local areas. So either your club plans an event to highlight the theme or every member can do something on their own or in smaller groups or maybe with their family. For instance, August is Membership and New Club Development Month. Maybe your club holds a new member event or a social to attract new members. Maybe your club has a meeting to look at opportunities for sponsoring a satellite or a Rotaract club. Or your club may select to highlight its current members through social media or maybe through meetings. But most importantly, whatever we choose to do each month, we share it with others. We tell our story. Send out press releases. Tell your local leaders how your club impacts your city and share all of what we do on social media. Key market research findings indicate that out of every 10 people surveyed, four have never heard of Rotary, and four have only heard of Rotary by name. The other two have some familiarity with Rotary. We have the power to change those numbers and to let everyone know about the difference we are making throughout our district and throughout the world. So dream big, District 7570. Dream bigger projects and more service. Dream to do more. And to do more, we must grow more. We need more members to do more service. You all are amazing Rotarians and you complete amazing projects. Now is the time to celebrate yourselves, your achievements, and to tell your story. In addition to Shaker's initiatives, our Rotary International Director, Peter Kyle, has presented us with an opportunity to participate in a peace building project, Youth and Peace in Action. And thanks to Governor Nancy Whitlock's genuine dedication to our district, if this project is implemented, it will provide peace building training and certifications for up to 25 high schools throughout District 7570. This would mean up to 25 peace building community projects would be completed and up to 1,000 of our students would be trained and certified in peace building and would go throughout life promoting a more peaceful existence. Our district committee would assist clubs in their participation and throughout the deployment of Youth and Peace in Action. So get ready for more to come on this very exciting opportunity to promote peace in your community. We will also continue feeding our communities with our hunger initiative. One in six children face hunger and more than 12% of people in the U.S. are food insecure. Hunger hurts and Rotary helps. We can decrease that one in six number in our district and we are all doing food related projects already. If you give to the food bank or if you donate to a food drive or if you pack meals, it counts. If you participate in a project through another organization, maybe a church or Meals on Wheels, it counts. Let's measure our contributions and our successes and let's do more. Together, we can feed 10 million. So, during the 2021-2022 Rotary year, we will each one bring one to increase our membership. We will have Rotary Days of Service and tell our story each month. We hope to promote peace throughout our district within our high schools, and we will feed our communities. Get fired up, District 7570. Our time to do more and grow more is right now. I know that you heard it from Shaker, but let me end by quoting him with what he has penned for our theme. The biggest gift we are given is the power to touch a life, to change, to make a difference in the circle of life. If we can reach out with our hands, heart, and soul, the magic will begin to happen as the wheel begins to roll. Let's turn the wheel together so all humanity thrives. 
we have the power and the magic to serve to change lives. So I ask you, my dear changemakers, are you ready? Are you ready for the big challenges? Are you ready to serve? Are you ready to change lives? I am, and I'm sure you are too. Together, let us serve to change lives. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day two of PATS. I don't know about all of you, but I'm definitely fired up and I'm ready to go. Thank you, Tara, for that very inspirational video. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, as a club president, you will be able to do so much, not only for your club, not only for your members, but for those individuals within your community that your club will serve. I've been very fortunate in my Rotary journey to have held and hold several offices, but I can honestly tell you that one of the offices that filled me with the greatest pride and joy was serving as a club president. To be able to work with my club members, to be able to work with the other clubs in my area, and to also work with clubs not only throughout our district, but throughout our zone and across Rotary as a whole. When it comes to being a president, when it comes to being successful as a club president, there are many things that go into it. But one of the things that I cannot stress enough is that of goal setting. My background is in education, as an educational administrator. Mm -hmm. And always at the start of the year, one of the things that I always have to think about is what do I want those students that are in my charge to have accomplished throughout the year? As presidents of our club, we need to, you need to truly think about what do you want your club to accomplish? What goals do you wish to set? And so setting goals is extremely important because it will provide you with a roadmap that will serve you during your year as president. One quote that I've told faculty members before, and I would like to share it with you right now, is this, and it's a quote from Andrew Carnegie. If you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires your hopes. And so ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I am happy to recognize DGN Kathy Cantor, who will talk about the Gold Club Award for the 2021-2022 Rotary Year. After she has concluded her remarks, it'll be followed by DGE Tara, who will talk about the Rotary Citation, and then PAG Paula Austin, who will update us on the Hunger Initiative. So ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I now yield to Kathy Cantor. Good morning. It is wonderful to be with you all today, and Tara, Thank you. That was amazing. You've certainly laid it out there. We know our goals. And change makers, are you ready? Are you ready to do the goals? We are. And goal club planning can help us. We've adjusted the timing of goal club to better suit the rotary year. Presidents, you know your clubs. It's part of your job to help them set the goals and manage the goals. The Goal Club program really isn't about the award. It's about working the program and being more organized and, and being efficient. We're already doing the events. We've lessened the number of mandatory requirements so that it's more flexible for the various clubs. We've allowed the electives to, again, coincide with the size of the club so that it works for your size, depending on your number of members. Clubs do better, it seems, when a designated person 
is in charge of entering. You're already doing the activities, but then if somebody's in charge of entering them, it seems to work more effectively. The ideal is to have your PE be that person. That will help them be more ready for their next year. It's easy to do. All you need to do is go to the website, our district website, start there, you log in, and I can't see where we log in, but at the top where it says member access, the next screen, sorry, I'll make everybody seasick here. The next screen shows on the top, the district tab, in the boxes, look for the box that says district award. Gold Club is under district awards. Then on the left side, we go to where it says in the column, activity entry. Be familiar with what's there, read it now. Then as you go through your year, you simply go back into this activity entry, check the boxes as you complete the task. There's also a place at the top of the page to put some notes so you can look back and remember how you did that activity for planning purposes. You can come and go at this site. It will keep track of it for you throughout the year. Area governors, you can help your clubs by helping them track to know if they're reaching the goals. You could have, again, a, at your president's meeting where you can, again, look at what they've done and maybe share as a group and give each other ideas on how to reach another level or what might work to reach an objective if they're having trouble with a particular one. You can see as they go through the year exactly what they've already entered and where they might be struggling. This program is supposed to be a help for us, and it will be if you use it. I'm not sure why we wouldn't. I remember, though, the first year I took it to my club and my president said, oh, I don't want to do something just to get an award. No, that wasn't the situation at all. And that very first year, we started working on it as a board. And it involved and brought everybody to the table on their specific part, whether it was membership or public image or foundation. It's all right there to help us have ideas. It does work. So I will be reaching out to you AGs as you reach out to your presidents to help you along the way, because we want to reach our goals. We want to serve to change lives. Thank you. Questions, um, you can put them in the chat or you can save them till we meet at the end of this and we'll have a, round, a breakout about this, correct? Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Um, so my screen's gonna go away. Leslie, will you go ahead and put my slide up so I can fix my, gonna take me away. Okay, so in addition to, um, our Gold Club, your Rotary, Rotary Act and Interact Clubs can also earn the Rotary Citation, and this comes from Rotary International. And you earn this for achieving goals that strengthen Rotary in your club. Goals um, for Rotary Citation similarly include increasing club membership, developing sustainable service projects, giving to the foundation, and building awareness of Rotary in your community. In Rotary Club Central, which we all know, that's where we go to enter our goals, um, you simply select 13 of the 25 goals that are listed. And you pick any of the 13 that, that you choose as your goal. The flexibility of choosing any 13 of 25 allows clubs to choose the goals that are most relevant to them and the goals that are achievable to their club. So um, here is a list of all 25, you probably can't see them, but they're on um, Club Central, but it's all 25 goals that you can choose from. And what it does say on there is it asks the question and you select the goal. So it says for membership, how many total, total members does your club want by the end of the Rotary year? And your achievement is based on the number that you enter. So the goal that you set for your club. Um, 
And, you know, Kathy just referenced that it's not necessarily just about an award, but the, but the flip side of that is our clubs do so much. And if they do this and they follow Gold Club and Rotary Citation, um, which I will side note with, if you do Gold Club, you basically will meet the criteria. Well, you will meet the criteria for, for um, the Rotary Citation as long as you go in and enter the goals ahead of time. So if you're doing Gold Club, you'll, you'll get Rotary Citation easily. You just need to select your goals and make sure that they align with what you're doing in Gold Club. But if everybody is participating, it does increase the health of our clubs and it um, promotes engagement within our clubs. But it also does recognize our clubs and it recognizes the hard work that they do every year and they deserve that. So um, I, I hope that each of you consider Gold Club and Rotary Citation to celebrate your clubs, celebrate your members and celebrate all the wonderful things that everyone throughout the district is doing. Paula. Thank you, Tara. Let me share my screen with you. As Tara mentioned, um, we are going to continue the hunger initiative during her year. For the last two years, the zone 3334 have had their hunger initiative called Feeding 10 Million. It's been extremely successful, at least in our district. Um, we have done a phenomenal job. To date, we have provided 681,882 meals. So we completely busted our goal of 500,000 meals that past district governor Tim challenged us with a year ago. And I remember him saying, oh, that's an awfully large number. I don't think we can make it, but we're gonna try. And boy, if we didn't. So this year, uh, during Tara's year, the zone is no longer going to um, promote their hunger initiative, but we're not going to stop. We're going to continue with our initiative because hunger is a problem that is out there and we need to help. So Tara mentioned some of these statistics, they vary slightly depending on which site you look at, but I think you can get the idea that hunger is out there in our district, in our country and in the world and Rotary is best suited to help with this issue. We are lucky to have three major food banks in our area. Feeding Southwest Virginia runs from um, Botetot down through uh, Abington and then over to Lee County. Second Harvest Food Bank of Northeast Tennessee covers the Johnson City area. And then the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank, the northern part of our district. All three food banks are affiliated with Feeding America as are most of our local food pantries. So here's what counts as a meal. It's stuff that our clubs are doing anyway. We're just asking you to, to mark it down, to record what you do, the amount of donations you collect, um, what, you, what you put on the, in the backpacks. This list will be on the district website, so you don't need to be writing it down. I can see you all scribbling now, but it's everything that our clubs are doing anyway. So where are you going to record, record this? Well, we're no longer going to go to the Zone 3334 website. We're going to do it on our website, the district website at rotary7570.org. It's under the What We Do tab, and then it'll be the next line down. Um, it'll be called the 2021-2022 Hunger Initiative Project. You click on that and you will see um, a survey monkey. This is just the top part. I'm sorry that that's not very clear, but you will do a drop down, pick your club. If, you're, if your event covers multiple dates, just give me a date and the name of the event. And then you're going to give us the raw numbers. We're going to ask you for the dollars that have been donated. And remember, personal donations count. We're going to ask you for the number of the poundage of the food that you collected during your food drive and donated to your local food pantry or the food bank. And we're going to ask you for the volunteer hours that you have done. So all of this can be put in, um, I think you can do it all at once, or you can come in as many times. I wanna see clubs uh, record their information throughout the year. So if you do fill out this form 
8, 10, 20 times. The more you do, the happier Tara and I will be. What can you do to help my little committee, which there's only four of us on the committee, Josie Russell in the southern part of the district, I'm in the middle part, and Nancy Whitlock and Frank Carey in the northern part. But what you can do to help yourself is point, appoint a club hunger champion. This will be someone who will take over this project for you so you don't have to worry about it because your plate is going to be extremely full. So the hunger champion will fill out the form, will make sure that your projects are on track, will make sure that you're doing something. This year to date, we've had 53 of our 80 clubs participate. And of course, I'm shooting for 100%. So we are going to encourage all clubs to at least record one event um, that you're doing. The, the dollar is the dollar donation is what's important. And this includes a club donation or a personal donation to your local food pantry. They can do more with a dollar than we can going to Kroger. So if that's all you do, we are just happy with that. We're also asking you to upload pictures because as you can see on this flyer that I paste, that uh, Amber posted on Facebook for me, these are all pictures that were provided by the club to the, hung, the Feed 10 million. And that helps a lot. It helps us get the story out. It helps us with our publicity um, and it helps promote the program. So Tim didn't come up with this number. I pulled this number right out of my hat. So we're going to shoot for 750,000 meals during Tara's year. We're not going to, um, we're going to do the calculations for you. All you have to do is give us the number and we will do the math for you so you don't have to worry about that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email or give me a call. I'll be happy to discuss any of this with you. On to you, Brian. Thank you very much, Paula, and thank you very much, ladies, for all of that information. We really do appreciate it. Brian? <laughs> Brian? Yes, ma'am. Hi, sorry. Um, sorry for interrupting you and changing the agenda and not making you aware as the host. You're, hey, you're the incoming governor. You do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just a servant. Well, we want to take a few minutes and, um, and ask District Governor Nancy Whitlock if um, she would present to us some information on the youth and peace in action as um, without Nancy, our district would not have this opportunity to participate. So I'm very happy that Nancy agreed to share with us today and introduce our district committee chair. So Nancy. Thank you so much, Tara. Um, it's my pleasure to tell you all a little bit about this new initiative that Tara mentioned. Uh, Many of you uh, may be aware that as a district, we are part of Zone 33, which goes down the East Coast until you reach Georgia and Florida, and then it becomes Zone 34 and continues on throughout the Caribbean. Zones 33 and 34, led by RI Director Peter Kyle, has launched an initiative called Youth and Peace in Action, which we refer to as YPA. And the goal of this initiative is to engage and educate young community peace builders. Um, and I love this quote by Betty Reardon, if you're familiar with her, she's a prolific author and peace educator. And she said, to reach peace, we need to teach peace. And that is exactly what DGE, Tara, and I would like to do in District 7570. The implementing partners for this YPA, and some of you may already be familiar with them, are New Gen Peace Builders and Outward Bound Peace Building. And YPA is also supported by a group um, called Alliance for Peace Building. So there are a lot of well-known organizations uh, supporting this. In my Rotary year 2021, the details of YPA have evolved and DGE, Tara and I uh, developed a strategy for how our district would fund this initiative. And I often go back to Tara's words because she said, this will be a gift 
to our district, uh, the district youth and our clubs who support them. And what she meant by that is that we have the district funds available so that we do not have to go to clubs and ask them to pay for this. Now, in Tara's Rotary Year, uh, YPA will be implemented, and the plan is to provide peace education and training, opportunities for participation in peace projects, and we decided that the best way to go about that is to do it through our district interact clubs. And so now I'm going to turn this over to somebody very important that, oh good, I see him on screen because I know he was struggling with some internet. Um, he is our current youth services coordinator, district internet chair, and obviously somebody who is um, certainly able to chair our district YPA implementation committee. And that is past president Brett Urbeck of the Rotary Club of Front Royal. Take it away, Brett. Thank you, Nancy. And I uh, apologize, my office internet went down right in the middle of Tara's video. Um, so I had to hop on my cell phone hotspot. So I hope that the internet the, comes clear through. But it is my pleasure, I'm excited to, uh, to uh, lead this effort, uh, the YPA effort in our district and working with the other districts in the zone. And I appreciate uh, Tara and Nancy's uh, faith in, in me, but it's not just me. I do wanna introduce our committee that uh, will be uh, working, uh, of course, District Governor Tara, um, Anita Bryant from the Front Royal Club, Brad Kinkima from the Martinsville Uptown Club, Fred Hoffman from the Roanoke Valley Club, Mark Hudson from the Harrisonburg Rocktown Satellite Club, Inez Rodenberg from the Danville After Hours Club, Amber Torbett from the Kingsport Club, Tim Wilburn from the Rocky Mount Club, and Nancy Whitlock from Waynesboro, and Michael Williams from the Warren County Club. So what um, we don't have a whole lot of information yet on um, uh, what to give you. This is really more of a teaser just to kind of put it out there on your screen or on your radar. Uh, EG, uh, Etera uh, mentioned it, how, how it is a highlight in the video. So we do want to make sure that you're aware of it. And please don't ignore the emails that may be coming from me, from your AGs, or from your youth advocates for your area. Um, but I do want to just throw it out there, a couple of things. One, we will be utilizing the Interact Clubs. So um, please designate in your club somebody that either is your Interact uh, person, a youth coordinator, or your peace builder. Um, or peace coordinator for your club that we can have a contact um, and make sure you are sharing the information. I want to underline that um, there is no cost to the clubs to do this. As uh, Nancy and Sheriff said, this is a gift from the district to our youth and our clubs because we know we've had a very tough year last year. Um, our Interact clubs were not able to do a whole lot of uh, programming or projects because of the distance learning and with the challenges of the schools. So uh, this is a gift that we're giving to them to be able to uh, uh, participate. Um, the expectation, I'm, I'm thinking that the uh, Interact Clubs will have peace projects. There will be some peace uh, certification that the youth will be able to participate in. Um, and we will need club support in, in those regards, not monetarily, but in uh, terms of um, adult leadership and, and contact and communication and working with the faculty um, at, the, at the schools. So last thing, again, just when you get an email from me, even if it's last minute like it was on Wednesday afternoon, um, please uh, don't ignore it. Look in your, uh, your spam folder if it goes there. And if you get something from your youth advocates or your uh, AGs, please uh, pass it on to that youth person in your club so we can make sure we uh, engage and really uh, make an impact um, uh, on peace in the, uh, in the district and in the world. So with that, I'm looking forward to it, but it uh, will kick off on September 21st. That's International Peace Day. And we, the committee will be working with your clubs throughout the summer to get everything ready so that kickoff on September 21st can be successful. So thank you. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that you all were able to have wonderful discussions with your AGs and your fellow presidents that you'll be serving with and president nominees for next year. I don't know about all of you, but for my area, um, it was a very good conversation and we didn't get to finish everything. So I'm glad we're gonna have another breakout room later.
So if you weren't able to get through everything within your conversation within that time period, just know, guys, that you will have another breakout with your areas and with your AGs to continue that discussion if it got cut a little bit short. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, you, the floor is open for those of you that have any questions about Gold Club, Rotary Citation, or the Hunger Project Initiative. Um, so if you do have questions, please feel free to put them in the chat or raise your hand or wave your hands about or something so that we can see you and we will gladly answer your questions. So the floor is open. Like I said yesterday, I'm a very nice people. All of these individuals are very nice. They're more than likely to, they can answer any questions. Don't be shy. We're all friends, we're all Rotarians. We may be spread out over several hundred miles, but we're one family. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So Brian, this is Kathy Napier. I just wanted to mention for people who um, don't know how to enter their goals in Rotary Club Central, mm -hmm. We did a CTT session on that, uh, presented by uh, Nina Beth Thornton, and you can go access that on the training page on the district uh, website. Go to resources, then to training, and then scroll down to the bottom of that page where it has the CTT sessions, and there's a link to the recording of that session, and it walks you through how to actually enter those uh, goals into Rotary Club Central for the Rotary Citation. All right, thank you very much, Kathy. I appreciate that. And I did see a hand from Mr. Kutzel. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, Brian? I my hand. Yeah, Kutzel. Kutzel. Uh, All right, sir. Yeah, uh, just a very general question, but um, I'm a relatively new Rotarian and I'm also a replacement president elect. So uh, I think I've missed a couple of steps somewhere in the, the this, but as far as a general go-to person at district, who would that be? Um, is there, you know, if you just have very general questions, I know they'll probably parse you out, but where is usually the best starting point? I mean, if I, I, I can, I would say, sir, that the first line of defense would be your area governor, because mm -hmm. that individual will be able to answer any questions that you have. But another tool that we have this year is the text message feature, if you will, with the WhatsApp. And so truly that is a resource that all of you can use because I think it's fair to say that not one person has the absolute best way to do it. We can all learn from each other. So that is a tool that if you do have a question, you can type your question in there and not only will AGs be able to respond or your own AG, but also your fellow club presidents from up and down the district because they may be able to share a way of doing it or an idea that you may not have thought of and have one of those ah moments and let me try and incorporate that. So between your AG, your fellow presidents and um, the WhatsApp, that will truly be a wonderful resource or a plethora of information for you. There's one thing- Brian, I'll just, I'll just add to that, um, that your area governors are in your WhatsApp group. So if you post it there, your area governors are going to see it at the same time other presidents will see it. And then there are a few um, other district leaders that are in that group as well. But like I said yesterday, we're going to take your lead. But if you ask a question and area governor doesn't know it, we'll answer it if we can. If we can't, we'll all get together and make up something. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Ron, we have three hands raised. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Leonard? Yes. So uh, when you're entering the Gold Club stuff as well as the citation stuff, is there, what level of um, user permissions that is required on DAC to be, because can, can any, just an average member enter, enter that or they have to have a certain level of um, user ability? Rick or Kathy, do you want to take that one? Sure, I'll take that one. You need Thank to you. have a, a level four access, which is what your mm -hmm. club secretary uh, traditionally has. Um, but you can also assign that um, 
responsibility to another club member. And we can walk you through how you do that if you would like to do it. But uh, typically the club secretary is the one who does it. And that's a level four. But again, if you want to assign it to somebody else, yeah, just get in touch with me or Leslie Blevins and we can uh, get that changed for you. Okay, also, you. Kathy, on that note, does a PE automatically have level four? The PE? I believe so, but Rick, can you confirm that? That is solely up to the secretary, but uh, they should have a level four. And level four, it means club officer or board member. So that's high, as high as you can go in the club. Thank you. Okay. Does that answer your question, sir? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. Thank okay. you. Um, James, I see you have the British flag in the background. I'm <laughs> sure you've heard, unfortunately, about the passing of His Royal Highness, um, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Woke yes, up to I did. this morning, which is sad to see. Thank you. But, uh, Just a real quick question. One of the mandatory activities for a gold club is using the planning guide creating your club leadership plan. <clears throat> the PE will prepare a plan for your club and review with your AG and your club leadership. This plan can be modified in the future. Where can you obtain a copy of creating your leadership plan? AAG Kathy or incoming district governor Tara, would either of you like to ask that or answer that question? The, those documents are available on um, our, our website. So you can search for, um, they used to be, aren't, aren't those the same ones that used to be mailed out? Yes. And now they don't mail them out anymore. It's a digital copy on Rotary International. Um, Leslie, can you post a link to where they can find those documents? Yes, and I will also include that in the follow-up email that we send. Um, I'll make a note of that. Thank you. You know, I think the previous year we had those in the resource manual, and I still have a copy of that document. If you all decide you want to include it in your resource manual, we can I can send that to you. Thank you, Nancy. Perfect. I can find his date in 2009, so appreciate it. All right, but you said, Leslie, you would be sending that out after this? Okay. Thank you awesome. very much. All right. My fellow Lynchburg alum, Trish, good morning. <laughs> I see your hand raised. What is your question? I, uh, so I am just wondering a little bit about the Hunger Project. Do we know of anyone in our district, any clubs are affiliated with or help fund or sponsor any type of sustainable farming projects that provide food to local communities? Uh, Paula? Um, boy, I got that question about, a, what club are you with? Bedford. Bedford, and maybe it was the Bedford. There was a question from one of the clubs that asked how we, how you would record that um, for a meal, a meal equivalent. And um, Nancy and I took the, chickens way out and said it's all based on the four-way test so whatever you come up with as an equivalent for if you plant a tomato plant and it provides how many meals it's based on what you think um and so there's no real guidelines and i'm waffling here i understand but well, I'm a, i'm i'm a very big forward thinker and i know that i'm only going to be president of the club for one year, but hopefully a long time Rotarian. I've, I've been a Rotarian in this Lynchburg, Bedford region for a while, but I switched to the Bedford club recently and I work at the Clater Nature Center and we have a, a, a future plan there just to, to start a sustainable farming program that can employ uh, people that need jobs and give food back to the community and I wonder if our district or at least our area could really be heavily involved in uh, supporting that as part of this hunger initiative. 
Uh, I'd like to chime in here and say one club that you might consider checking with is the Taswell County Club because I know that they were involved in a community garden. Um, Paula would have to tell you whether or not they had entered that uh, in our data collection this year, but that's what jumps out to me when you ask about a club that is involved in, in community gardening, I think of Taswell. Okay, thank and you. Trish, I would um, suggest you put that in WhatsApp because there may be others and they would be able to respond to you. Okay, yeah, I just downloaded that app, so I'll have to figure that out. I've never used yeah. it. <laughs> Can awesome. I also jump in for a second and um, tell you that I run a backpack program here in our community, and when we have um, fresh vegetables and fruit and things like that donated to us, we use the government guidelines for serving, and that's how we help get like what our meals are. And because when you're dealing with fresh stuff, it's hard sometimes to figure that out. So we use that guideline to help um, determine what our meals are based on that, if that helps at all. Yeah, we were thinking of doing some type of a CSA box type thing that can provide an equivalent of like four meals in one box or something like that, but yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much for that question. And thank you all for your questions and your comments um, during this question and answer period. Um, it is now my honor to hand over the microphone, if you will, to incoming AAG Leslie Blevins for training comments. And I just want to say best of luck to all of you. It's going to be an amazing year and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Before I speak, I'm going to turn it over to Tara. She's got some comments, and then I'll make some comments, and then we will move on to our next thing. Thanks, Leslie. Thank you, Brian. Um, thank you all so, so much for attending and participating over the last two days. As we begin the Rotary Year, um, recognize that it's my job and your job, everyone on this call, to support our clubs, to look for new ways to promote new club models, Rotaract, Polio, and all other initiatives. It's our job as leaders to promote Each One Bring One, Rotary Days of Service, peace building, and ending hunger throughout the district and the world. Remember as we go forward, the leadership implications when we apply the four-way test to all the things that we think, say, or do. I wanna close with one of my Rotary moments. Y'all can see I changed my background and I guess you can see there's a baby in there. Um, when I was in India, I had an unplanned opportunity to inoculate a child with the polio vaccine. <clears throat> and the most amazing thing about this opportunity probably should have been that I knew I was helping to ensure that this child would never have to suffer from, suffer from this crippling disease. And not to say that that fact wasn't huge because it was, I mean, I knew what I was doing as a Rotarian, you know, if you get that opportunity, what that means. But what really, really made an impact on me and, and has made a lasting impact on me is the way that this child's mother looked at me. I was a stranger from who knows where. And because I had on a rotary pin, she trusted me and she smiled at me as if she could not trust anyone more with her child simply because I was a Rotarian. And this is how I dream that every resident in our communities in District 7570 look at us. And for them to do this, we must tell our story. Everyone will look at us with ad admiration and trust if they know what we're doing for them if they know what we're doing in our communities, if they know our story. So as the leaders of District 7570, how we lead directly impacts the success of Rotary. It's up to each of us to support and motiv motivate our clubs to achieve more than we ever have before. So as we do more and grow more, remember that we have the power and the magic to serve to change lives. So thank you all very, very much. I look forward to seeing each of you. Um, I've heard some people come in or ask questions about District Legislative Assembly. We did send out a P-mail to all president-elects. So if you're not in DACDB as a president-elect, you may not be getting the right emails. Um, if you 
don't know how to get that fixed, Leslie will be happy to help you. Um, but we have sent out a PML. It's May 22nd from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. It will be a virtual um, Zoom webinar, um, just as we did it last year. You will find the event information on the district calendar, and you will also be receiving another email reminder soon from Kathy Napier. So um, it does require registration. So it's available. You can go ahead and register now. Um, PEs as voting members, make sure that you get registered and plan to attend. Um, before Leslie wraps us up and takes us into our final breakout sessions, if you all would please recite with me the four-way test of the things we think, say, or do. Say or do. Is it the truth? truth? Is it fair, fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you all so much. So hello again, Rotary friends. I'm so excited to be with you. Um, you're going to be hearing from me a lot over the next few months. And then in the upcoming year, you have already heard from me a lot. So I hope that you're not getting tired of me because we are just starting. Um, we're getting ready to go into our last breakout rooms of pets. Your area governors and your other president elects in your area will be with you in those rooms. So this is a perfect opportunity to discuss the president's checklist, which is a simplified one page document of things to remember throughout your upcoming year. Um, as a side note, it's located on page 18 of that nifty little handbook that we've referenced many, many times. This would also be a great opportunity to make sure that you know about the functionality um, available on DACDB and in my Rotary. So if you have any questions, just talk to your AG about that. And it's also a great time to discuss um, collaborative grants, potential opportunities there with the clubs in your area. The training team has worked hard to provide you a lot of resources for your upcoming year. I already mentioned the handbook, but let me say again, this is not meant to be a document that sits on a shelf. It is meant to be used. So refer back to it, use it, put your notes in it. If you have a question, the handbook is a great resource. So use it. Um, one of my most favorite parts of pets this year was the use of the use of breakout rooms and the fellowshipping opportunities. I learned so much from you all during those sessions. I took lots of notes. I'm going to take those back to my club. I'm hearing about your projects, what you're doing to attract new members, and discussing the potential struggles in your club. I just, I learned so much. So thank you for being so willing to share. And I know that going into this last breakout session, you're going to be sharing a lot of ideas and thoughts as well. Let's also continue those conversations in WhatsApp. I know we've said it and we've said it, we've said it, but WhatsApp is a great tool to use throughout the upcoming year. During my first year as president of my club, we moved locations and we changed our name. I, oh my goodness, I wish I would have had a tool like WhatsApp to be able to ask my fellow presidents for advice. So use it and, and work together in this upcoming year. As a follow-up, we'll be sending an email out to everyone in the upcoming days. It will include all the presentation slides that we uh, saw this past two days. It'll include links to many of the resources that we've mentioned. We'll include a copy of those chat conversations that we've had and much more. We'll also include a link to a satisfaction survey, which includes a question about what topics you would like additional information on. We want to help you, so let us know what you need. And when you get a minute, go on um, WhatsApp and share your biggest takeaway from pets. We'll continue our fun and our fellowship over there on the WhatsApp group. I'll end and send you away to your breakout rooms with this um, quote from Dave's presentation yesterday. Don't just be the next, be the best. And away we go.